What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we got an animal one, a ram. So like that male sheep sort of thing. I know there's lots of different types of ram, but this is kind of just that generic sort of one with the round horns and stuff like that, okay? So I'm on a landscape orientation page. It's A2, you could use A3, of course, A4. I do big just for the video and because Sharpies put a real thick line, so you need like a bigger page. If you're using a pencil, A4 would be fine. I'm not, I'm not sure what they call A4 in the States. It's probably letter or something, letter size or something like that. So yeah, A2 is the same proportion as like A3 or A4. All down the A's, they're the same proportionality. So those type, type of paper is the same as the one I'm using. I'm just doing it like big, that's all. <laughs> so, um, Right, so center point of my page is about here. And along the center line is where the eye is gonna be. So center point here and the eye is just over to the left hand side, small little bit. So let's go. So we're gonna start with the eye, right? So we got this kind of triangle sort of shape there like that. Always reminds me of a bird's beak or something. Just the corner of his eye. And then this comes up and comes across real flat, just there. Bottom side of the eye is more curvy, the bottom eyelid kind of curves around like so. And then we stick it out the back, a smaller sort of point back here. Okay, so a very particular kind of shape for the eye. You can do it lots of different ways, but in general, you want like these points at the end and a longer one here for the, for the tear duct for like where that gland is in the eye there so the iris so it's like a big wide eye right so you do a curved line here and it kind of hugs the bottom of that eyelid and then comes up here okay And now you can pretty much color in these sections dark black, right? You can leave a highlight or a shine in the tear duct if you wanted, just to show it's kind of wet, but not 100% not necessary. You could just color the whole thing black. So then goats and rams and sheep and stuff, their eyes are kind of unusual. They're kind of these long, ovals sort of lines you know sort of i'm gonna add um a highlight just here like a white circle just there and then you can color the rest of that dark black okay and if you want a bit of hatching on top a bit of shadow coming down the eye. Kind of like that. Just to get a shadow on the, under the top eyelid. So, right, so let's see. Right, so we got like kind of an eyelid line coming out from here. So like just a going around his eye there, something similar along the bottom, just a sketchy sort of hairy kind of line just there. Okay, so we're gonna get the main structure for his face in now. So we're gonna do the snout coming down to the nose. So you wanna go eye distance, right? The distance, so the eye, the width of your eye comes over fits in here and that's like where the snout will start like here see this so this width will fit in here again okay so you know that's how how far you want the tear duct to be to the front of his face okay so here to here approximately the same as there to there you just want to go don't don't want to go too close or too far away that's all so it's just a guide right so then the snout will come down It'll have a couple of bumps every now and then, you know, like that, because, you know, it 
it's a goat and he's got a bumpy face and stuff so this comes down like so but it's a ram it's not a goat actually sorry <laughs> so this is bumping down to the nose now down here right And then our nose will stick it out just there and then it'll come back in to about there. So again, proportionality and stuff. So the eye width, right? So in there to you'd fit an eye in here and then coming down, right? You'll probably go one, two, three, right? Just if you're wondering how far down you want to go to the, for the nose in relation to the eye. Keep those widths sort of in proportion. So you go one, two, three. Three eyes will kind of fit down there. Maybe a little bit more. One, two, three, yeah. To the nose will be about three eye widths. So, right, so the nose part, right? So we got like um, some sort of curvy sort of lines for the nostril just here and this curves up and under there and this will curve back down into here somewhere and then th this will have like a dark shadow inside here and eventually it'll go like hatching just well, hatching lines just there we get a bit lighter as we go out that way and there could be some like dark sort of sections on the top of the nose here bumps and things but not too much like that so then top lip so we're curving around so, and it kind of sticks back to here. And then bottom lip. So you could do like a billy goat kind of thing with a real furry chin, or you can just do a simpler sort of round, or you can add like, you know, semi furry. We can go in, in between, you know, adding these sort of sketchy hairy lines just here. Okay. So a real sort of flat mouth. And maybe a shadow kind of underneath here. Like so. So he has a different sort of color, clo uh, sorry, nose snout section, right? So we'll just divide that up. So he's got like, just like, you know, just a light sort of line coming around here. So like this is white fur and in here is brown. So I'm just like dividing it up, that's all. And it kind of goes around his mouth, around here. Okay, like so. So we'll just get in the main sort of shapes. And, and we got like some lines coming down and some dots for what looks like whiskers, but I'm, I'm sure it's just something to do with his skin and stuff like that. So these sort of dots here. And maybe like a line coming up for his snout. Just some kind of texture lines and stuff, you know, just sort of. Less is usually more, so I won't add too much. Sometimes I can overdo it, so. Like that. Right, so the jaw. So like the jaw sort of comes up this way, okay? And some of it kind of goes underneath um, the ram's horn, but we'll, we'll kind of just keep it going, I guess, underneath. And we can erase whatever bits we go over. So curving around the eye. So you can see like the eye is like underneath, or the jaw is underneath kind of where the eye is. That's where it starts to curve. So that's how far you want 
to be. That's where you want to be out here. Okay. And then this eventually will come up and join the ear. Somewhere up here. Right. Like so. So, right, we'll add, we'll add some lines just on the face, some texture kind of for the snout coming down this way. You know, sort of stuff like this. little things like this usually can help bring a bit more three-dimensionality to it you know little lines like this maybe like a baggy sort of area underneath the eye like for the eye socket you know just there and then some like lines underneath the jaw coming from his mouth going, going towards the hair up here certain little hatchy you don't want like solid lines here you want your solid lines to be on the outside you want sort of sketchy lines little dots and dashes and things to be in here yeah um, and maybe like something coming up around the top as well like kind of like an eyebrow thing going on just up here So, okay, so the ram's horn. So his forehead comes up a bit further. So we'll come up here, just above that eyebrow that we just did. And then we got this big, massive horn. We can see like two horns, but mainly one and the back of another one just here. So, I guess we'll draw where it sort of grows out of its head first. So, let's see if we can figure this. So, it's like a curved line, just there. And then this will go up and across, like so, towards, towards the ear, sort of here, this sort of flat section. And we got like some skin it's growing out of his head, so there's like fur and skin attached to it, so it's got these bumps coming down. Okay, so like, so, and then, so this is like bone here, so like a double line, curving line going that way. And then the big horns are gonna come around, right? So we're gonna, so it's kind of awkward to get it correct, right? So we're gonna have to sort of, I guess we're gonna come out to the back about here, right? So this is how far, so it's probably head width or something again. Yeah, out to there. You could go really big, it doesn't really matter, I guess, proportion, but like here to the side of the face is about the same as the side of the face to just maybe the inside of the eye. So this and this are about the same. But you could do it bigger, so I guess that's not really important. So why am I telling you? <laughs> so we'll try and get this horn to go up and around. And it can be kind of a bumpy line as well, you know, because there is lines on it. thick a line as you want or as thin a line you know depending on how much shadow you want to be on it
Right, so we gotta like wrap it up in around to the face somewhere like. I'm gonna bring it in across his cheek, like here, okay? So, let's go with this. So let's just, this. <laughs> Looks like he's got like a big football helmet on or something. Okay, so we're gonna bring, keep this going, so. Okay, not bad, not bad. And then it grows, so it goes into here. Grows into here somewhere, so it comes out like to there. Big wide, and then out. this and it sort of gets skinnier as we go down so it's awkward shape to get correct but that's not bad uh, right so what do i need to fill oh yeah well, i'll raise this line just here so, and then just to give it a kind of a 3D shape, right, we're gonna add um, another line kind of here, kind of a broken line coming out from this ridge, okay? So it kind of like follows around here. And eventually it'll get sort of narrower as we come down to the edge just here. So it's just to give it sort of a 3D kind of feel. And it eventually goes right in to the top, up to here. Okay, kind of like that. And then this will have like texture lines and things. Like nearly, you could do like, full ones, like full lines if you wanted, but yeah, there's probably no need for that. You could do like just this kind of thing. Kind of in a radial kind of pattern coming down this way. So it's really up to you how much detail you want to give this part. Like you could literally draw every line if you wanted to, but I sometimes think that's not necessary. sort of texture is all you kind of need I think for a ram's head but well uh, for an illustration anyway you know that's plenty I think when do you stop so I think I think that's enough 
Right, so then in here we have his ear, okay? So we can just see like a little bump. It touches like right the edge of the horn here and comes out the other side. Just there. Comes down the side of his head. Another sort of texture line just in there. Coming down that way and he's got like a dark hole inside just to show where his sound goes in the ear hole basically you know what I mean? little lines coming down from that bumps and things but the texture lines and things around this like so okay we can see a little bit of the ram's horn on the other side there's kind of some hair here where where it grows out kind of like this section and then we go up and around and it's kind of bumpy again but you can only see a tiny little bit of it just here okay Again, you can thicken up this line if you want. I do like doing that sometimes on the animal drawings anyway. Um, kind of like that, just to make the, the sort of outside edge stand out a bit more. It's just something I like, it's a personal preference. Not everyone likes it, so, you know, if you don't like it, don't do it. Your drawing, it's not my drawing. Uh, so, yeah, so lines here, and then, like, you know, some more sort of texture lines and stuff. Coming around like that, kind of. Uh, Okay, so rest of the neck just comes down this way. Just there, and the neck out the back, like so. Kind of hairy, a little bit. Comes back that way. And, you know, some like fur lines and texture lines for like the muscles of the rams like back and stuff like that. So like where his shoulder would be and things kind of there, but you know, you're just kind of suggesting where you think they would be. It's not necessarily, you know, you're not trying to be anatomically correct or anything. Like that. Um, but I think that's the main idea guys to draw a ram from the side i will do a ram rams are kind of cool so there's lots of different types when i was researching for this drawing i saw loads of different ones they're like with crazy horns and like long ones and ones that kind of wrap around themselves twice and stuff i didn't know there were so many rams i'm learning something doing this as well <laughs> who would have thunk uh I'm just adding some lines, maybe just for shadow underneath his head or under the horn or something in here. Maybe thicken up some lines. But, yeah, cool animal around. Uh, maybe I'll put, uh, yeah, some like dots and things. So like rams usually get into fights a lot. So I'm just gonna add like some kind of some like scratches and things. Yeah, but I won't mess it up too much. I'll leave it there. I'm probably doing too much. So how to draw a ram? Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.